So you've heard Final Cut Pro is an app and you want to get it installed on your computer. But what are the actual steps that you want to go through? Well, first, I recommend starting by going onto the internet and going to apple.com slash Final Cut Pro. Apple is the company that sells Final Cut Pro. And we can learn a lot about the app before we even get it installed by going to this website. So if you're not familiar with Apple and the way that they have their website set up, let me give you a brief overview. At the top, we're going to see the application we're looking at, Final Cut Pro 10. And we can actually scroll through this page to get an overview of the app. So if you want to learn about some of the key features that Final Cut Pro includes, you can scroll through and read about them on here. You will see different tabs. So we're in video editing right now. We can look at the organization tools. Uh, some of the motion graphics features, and, and you're seeing different interfaces listed here by going through these tabs. And this is a great place to go to get a general understanding of what this app is capable of. And most of this course is going to be focused around using this tool. So you don't really need to go too far into anything that's listed on this website. But it is a great place to learn about the features, especially after they've done a major update. They'll update this website and show you what's new. Things like the video noise reduction, the time code window, these are all features that were recently added to a version of Final Cut Pro, and we can read about them here on the website. So start by going here. You can go up to the top and click on things like Motion and Compressor to learn about those apps, Resources and Tech Specs has additional information. I strongly recommend looking at the technical specs because these are going to include the minimum system requirements. So there's a great place, you know, anytime you look in an app, you should be looking at these minimum system requirements to see if the Mac you actually have is going to run well with Funnel Cut or if you're just barely meeting the minimum system requirement. Uh, That may be a sign that you're going to have issues going forward. So this is a great place to start, and if you have already purchased Final Cut, you're beyond beyond this point, but if you haven't yet, you can actually start with a free trial, at least as of the recording of this video. And when you click on free trial, all you need to do is enter your information, and you'll get a 30-day free trial of the current version of Final Cut Pro 10. So start here. Don't purchase it yet. You can get it for free for 30 days, and uh, that's kind of the starting point I recommend for everyone. Now, the question I do get is if you start something with the free trial and you end your 30 days, do you lose all your work? And the answer is no. Everything that you do with Final Cut is being saved into a Final Cut library, and that library doesn't just disappear after the 30 days. You just won't be able to open Final Cut on this specific Mac that you're on. But you can certainly take it to a friend's computer, Uh, or another Mac that you have access to that does have Final Cut and continue working. Or later on, you could purchase Final Cut and you'll get access to it as well. uh, This 30-day trial version 2 is basically the full version of Final Cut. You're not going to find limitations to this this one as well. So the next thing I want to point out, you do have a Buy button here. If you click on buy, it's actually going to load the uh, page, the purchase page here where we can see Final Cut. And we see the price of it, depending on your region and in your area. Uh, it might be a little different, but right now it's going to round up to $300 to get Final Cut Pro. And it's a one-time purchase. I purchased Final Cut the first day it came out on uh, the App Store. It was the same price back in 2011 and it's now 2019, uh, and I've only paid for it once. So that's the nice thing about this. It's not a subscription service. Right now it's a one-time payment, and you can go and do that purchase using the Mac App Store. However, with that said, there are a few ways to get a discount on this price, uh, depending on your current situation. So uh, I'm going to hit the command and left bracket here to go back a page and go back to the overview of Final Cut Pro 10. And on this page, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's a few little taglines at the bottom here. Uh, You do see some third-party tools, but on the right, it says five amazing apps, one powerful collection. And if you hit the Buy Now button, this is actually where you can go to get the education bundle that includes Final Cut Pro 10. 
So on its own, standalone Final Cut is about $300. But if you are in education and you know, scroll through this, make sure that you are eligible for this. But if you're in education, you can actually get this bundle that includes not only Final Cut, but it also includes Motion and Compressor, which are two very helpful apps if you're a Final Cut editor. And then on the audio side of things, it'll include Logic and MainStage. All of these apps together cost way more than the $200 price tag that they're putting on uh, this bundle. So if you are in education, definitely take advantage of the education options that Apple offers, and you'll get those apps in that bundle. If you're not part of education, or even if you are, if you want to get a even a, a more boosted discount on this, I recommend looking around for iTunes or App Store gift cards. And this is not Apple Store gift cards. These are the App Store or iTunes gift cards. And there's many sites out there that offer discounted gift cards that you can go and purchase. And other people have essentially sold them and for, for a lesser value, and, and you're able to get discounts on them. I've seen iTunes gift cards discounted as much as 20% at times. And because you are using your App Store or your iTunes account to make purchases through the App Store, which would include this Final Cut Pro, if you can find gift cards that are 20% off, you're essentially getting a 20% off Final Cut. So that's my other little tip is look for those discounted uh, iTunes cards, add them to your Apple ID to the credit that the and the account that you're going to use to purchase Final Cut. When you go and do that, you'll get that discount as well. So I recommend avoiding scams around that that can get kind of, uh, you know, people have, I've seen have sold, disc, you know, in quotes, discounted gift cards, but they're not actually iTunes cards. So just verify the source before you're going and purchasing it. Check all the fine print, all that good stuff. Uh, don't get scammed. But there are ways to get discounts on Final Cut indirectly by using those types of cards. And then uh, I just want to reiterate, you want to avoid Apple Store gift cards. That's for purchasing hardware and things from the actual Apple Store, uh, not for the App Store or iTunes not for these kind of virtual uh, items that you're purchasing. So the uh, next part of it, uh, like I said, when you go through and purchase this, let's go back to the Buy button on the main Final Cut Pro page. It opened up this store, which was the Mac App Store Preview. So if you decide you actually want to buy this, you're going to click the View in Mac App Store, which opens up the Mac App Store. I'm going to go down to the dock, click and hold on Safari and quit Safari, just to get that out of the way. And over on the right side of the dock here, I have the App Store. You can also just click on the App Store and do a search for Final Cut to get directly to this page if you don't want to go through the internet. This is the first time I'm opening it, so we get a welcome screen. I can hit continue. And here we are. It goes and loads Final Cut Pro. I can see on the right there's a blue button here with the price. If you know this is what you want, all you need to do is click this price, hit Buy App, you're going to see a screen that asks you to sign in using your Apple ID. Uh, most Apple IDs are an email address, and this is the same one that you'd use with iTunes or uh, other Apple products for purchasing it. If you don't know your Apple ID or you don't have one, you can certainly go in and say either forgot Apple ID or create an Apple ID to create one for that purchase. Here's the thing, this is very important. You're putting this $300 app onto this account. So make sure you know what account you're using here because that's anytime you want to go and re-download Final Cut in the future, you're going to use that same Apple ID. So don't just quickly sign up for an account so you can quickly purchase it. Make sure you're using the correct account, the one you actually want to have access to. With that said, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the Apple ID on the next lesson on how you can actually reinstall Final Cut if you need to. Uh, but your Apple ID is very important. So make sure any security measures you do with your password or anything else that you, you really look into those because it is important to have um, that set up correctly. So once you've signed into that account and hit buy, it's going to start downloading that. It's going to use either the credit you've put onto the account or the credit card that you've added and it'll, it'll start downloading and going through. 
Uh, on the App Store here, you can read reviews and see some screenshots of the app. We can also go down and see how large this app is. It's about three gigabytes, a little bit larger after it gets downloaded. So just make sure that you are kind of reading this information and you understand uh, what Final Cut's all about. We looked at those minimum system requirements as an example. You want to understand this stuff before you actually get it installed. A lot of people don't, but if you can you know, understand this, uh, it makes long term really, really nice and easy there. So um, this is where you get it. My other warning, a lot of people look online for through Safari and they do searches, you know, how can I download or purchase it from someone else? And there's not any other ways to get this. It's all done through the Apple ID and through your your account. So if you find someone selling it for an extreme discount, something that, you know, they're selling it for 10 bucks or something much lower, chances are it is too good to be true and you're, you're downloading or purchasing either a hacked version or something else and you're going to have a lot of issues with those. So just be careful when you're purchasing it. Make sure that you're doing it through the App Store here with your Apple ID. And like I've said in other videos, if you have any questions about that, just send an email to finalcutprohelp at me.com. Otherwise, go ahead and get it purchased and installed on your computer. And we're going to start launching it and editing very shortly.